Hey everybody, this is Mike Flores, and we are coming into game two with the Michael Jacobs black-white token deck. We won game one, as you probably remember from the previous video, five with Flores black-white tokens. The opponent is a middle-of-the-road black-green mid-range deck, maybe Dorian. Because I have a lot of black cards, and because he showed me Chameleon Colossus, I cited out my glorious anthems in game two for some cards that might have an effect on the board. Namely, Wrath of God and Elspeth Knight Errant to block. Not to spoil the upcoming fun, but none of these cards actually come up this game, so I'm wagging my gums just to give you some insight as to what I was thinking when sideboarding. Turn 1 he plays Murmuring Bosk, and we answer with our own Tryland. Turn 2 he's got the Birds of Paradise. I don't know if that's because he top-decked the birds, or because he didn't have a Tree Folk in his opening hand. On our second turn we have a land, thankfully, and one of our better turn 2 plays, Bitter Blossom. He's got arguably his best turn 3 play against a Bitter Blossom, Chameleon Colossus. Now this play is probably a mistake. I kind of had a gut reaction and played the Spectral Procession thinking that I had to block, but it would have been smoother on the mana and I would have saved a Caves of Coilos point if I just ran out Windverse Kites and tapped into my Tide Hollow Scholar. See, I didn't even block. I should go back and read Playing with Follow Through by Michael J. Flores. His thoughts ease here is going to take Marsh Flitter. That's probably right, I think, because I'm off Cloud Goat Ranger mana right now. It's arguable that it doesn't matter what he takes, because even one Ranger is going to hold up his Colossus forever, barring some kind of mass removal, which I do not think he has. And with this Windbrisk Kites, I have all the Cloud Goat Rangers a boy could ever need. Now with the Tide Hollow Scholar, we're obviously going to take the Nameless Inversion here. Garrick Wildspeaker is completely irrelevant, and if we take one, we just unmulligan him for drawing two. Plus, Nameless Inversion in his hand is the equivalent of letting him pick what we are taking. So, all in all, we have to take the Nameless Inversion. We're going to leave one Procession token back to chump his Chameleon Colossus. We know his hand of two irrelevant Garrick Wildspeakers, so it's going to be really hard to get raced this game. And we just chump and take three. He plays Garrick and just makes another 3-3 three, three on the ground. With all the Rangers we've got, it should be simple to block on the ground forever and just keep attacking in the air. Now we've said a couple of times that Garrick Wildspeaker is irrelevant, yet there's a reason why I'm attacking him with some of my tokens. I actually want my opponent to play the other one. Svimoshwitz and I actually wrote a point-counterpoint set of articles on a play I made in the first round of a PTQ about five years ago. One of the strategies you might not be considering, yet, is to let your opponent make whatever plays he wants as long as those plays aren't actually going to beat you. You save so much effort by not engaging in the little conflicts. And meanwhile, the opponent is just going deeper and deeper in a direction that will ultimately lead to you winning, only he just doesn't know it yet. Or I might be speaking a little too soon. Post-combat, we've got a Cloud Goat Ranger. He sees that playing Garrick next turn is not going to cut it against now three Cloud Goat Rangers and just does the honorable thing. So for everyone who's been asking for more full matches, this is the first of a couple we are doing over the next week or so. Happy Holidays. If you like this video, want to check out the deck list if you haven't already seen it, or are curious about some of the articles I mentioned, visit my blog, Five with Flores, and you'll find everything you could have ever wanted. If you just want to make sure that you keep up to date with the Five with Flores videos here on YouTube, click ye old subscribe button and the engineers at Big G will do the rest. This has been Mike Flores for Five with Flores. Thanks for watching.